Good afternoon. Um, I'm Marissa Farmer, an upcoming senior at Cypress Bay High School. I would first like to thank Ms. Levinson and the school board for giving me the time to speak on such an important topic. For the past three years, I have attended Cypress Bay, involving myself in several honor societies and filling my time with a rigorous academic schedule. However, in addition to learning how vaccines work and how to find the area under a curve, the community of high achieving students I have surrounded myself with has brought in my perspective to an extremely prevalent issue in our community, the mental health of our students. I could stand up here and describe a dozen instances where I comforted someone who is breaking down in the corner of a classroom. I could recite every line of a phone call I had with a girl I barely knew when I convinced her not to hurt herself. I could give you the names of five students who would not be here if they had swallowed a couple more pills one night. I could tell you my story. Everyone here could tell you their story because when it comes to mental illness, everyone in some way or another is affected. What we cannot do is eliminate these issues. Depression, anxiety, OCD will always afflict students. It's in our DNA. However, we can help to alleviate suffering. Although it is exceptionally helpful for students to rely on their peers and find a community of students to talk to, in fact, my friends and I are developing an app simply for that purpose. At the end of the day, I'm just a 16-year-old depressed person trying to help other depressed people. I have no certification, no training. I don't know what I'm doing. No kid knows what they're doing. We're all just doing something and hoping that it works because that's all we have right now. That's not enough. We need certified mental health counselors at every school talking to students and making them feel safe, accepted, and like they want to wake up every morning. It starts with education. The stigma surrounding mental health leaves many alone and afraid of seeking help. This last school year, a couple of my close friends and I, desperate to help, brought speakers from NAMI, the National Alliance for Mental Illness, to speak at club meetings on coping skills and what to do if you or someone you know is struggling. Every student deserves to hear this presentation, which is why I'm proposing a mandatory beginning of the year assembly on mental health. We owe at least that to the hundreds possibly thousands of students that have gone through our school systems without being able to voice how they truly feel. Furthermore, if a student's mental health is not in the right place, it will negatively affect every aspect of their life, and one of the biggest stressors among students is academic pressure. The reason why colleges mandate stress-free liberal arts classes is to take the pressure off students for just a couple hours. A mandated 4.0 liberal arts class at all high schools. Now, I have a lot more to say on this subject specifically, so please speak to me after. My information is with Ms. Levinson. Thank you so much for your time. I hope we can work together in the future to take action against this growing problem. Thank you. Thank you.